Hello everyone, welcome to the new uh, update of the advanced analytics page. So as you can see here in your analytics, you can go to the tab advanced and I'm going to show you one, uh, some of the new functionalities that we've launched in the advanced analytics. Now, it's more clear than ever that both for internal and external AI use cases, you want to analyze costs, efficiency, tokens, anything you'd want and anyone that can kind of have their own analytics needs. So we try to make it as flexible as possible. Now what we see here is a drop down of the usage per model. Uh, the metric is request. Now we can change this to costs and we can see the sum over time. We can also change and see the median. So what's the median cost per request per model? Uh, but let's go back to sum. Now what's really interesting is that we see different versions of Cloud4 Sonnet. We see OpenAI, we see different models that we've been using. Uh, maybe you want to dive deep into the model that's been used the most. So you can see here Entropic Cloud4 Sonnet, Cloud4, Cloud4 5, uh, sorry. And you can add it straight from the chart into a filter. Now, from this filter, you might go and see, okay, how are we actually using this model? Um, that's what we call origin title, which means what's the request coming from? And you can see here Cloud Code and Root Code, which is quite interesting. Um, most of it is Cloud Code. You can also see this as a percentage. Uh, above 80% of requests are coming from cloud code, which is pretty interesting. And we can expand the time frame just to see how that evolves. Uh, it's a new model, so hopefully we shouldn't see too much data before that exactly. So this is a good way of filtering down what people are using by model. But also if we remove this, we should see this across all of the models for all the requests between cloud code and uh, root code. Now, if I'm interested in seeing who actually in the company is still using root code, for example, I can add that as a filter and instead of origin title, I can say internal users. And here I see a breakdown of all internal users and who is exactly using what per day. Now you can also export this CSV, for example. Uh, very interesting to track in your organization um, who's doing what and why they're doing certain things in a certain way. Now, what I'm interested in is removing root code. I wanna see all of my users in the last three months. Uh, and when I, I kinda wanna go and analyze trends. Now you can see here, there's some big spenders in total. Um, what I can do is deselect all, and I'm gonna select my top five users, uh, and I'm gonna group them together. And I'm gonna say power users. I just wanna see how much of our power users are contributing to our biggest costs. So if we go back here, you can see here power users are quite of the most of the cost, but the best way to see this is on percentages. Now you can see this over time, it seems that our five users out of 30 users are using most of our costs. So that's an interesting way to understand, okay, from these power users, can we interview them? Can we go and check what they're actually doing compared to the rest of our users? Uh, if I remove them again, uh, you can see them here and you can manually go and ask who they're doing, who they are, or what they're doing, for example. Now, let me reset this and look at other things like finish reset. Um, what is actually going on? And you can see stop, tool calls, length. So length is an interesting one. Uh, that means you're going further than um, the max output tokens that's available for that model or that you have set in your filters. So you could, for example, go and see length. Um, and I wanna add that as a filter and then group by uh, model again. So which models are stopping the most? Oh, it's actually coding Cloud4 Sonnet, um, which kind of makes sense if you're coding with it. So this is a quick way on actually filtering through all of the noise and all of your analytics that you have. One last thing I wanted to show is status code. So what is a status code? Is basically the errors that we are seeing in your application. So again, what we can do is take all of these, add selected to filters, now we only see the errors that we're having and you can go and do that by region for example which region did we deploy to that had the most errors um, mainly the us so maybe the availability in the us is less high for that model than in the in europe another thing you could do is uh, which model had the most errors seems that it distributed across them but it's all the entropic models probably because we're using them the most but at least they should give you a very good indication. Now, if you don't know where to start, uh, but you have an idea of models you're using, you can filter by here as well, um, which you can filter by model and you can do star and just find all of the cloud models. Um, it should give you all of the cloud models, exactly. So that's a, an, another way to start filtering through all of the noise um, that you wanna look at. 
I hope this new uh, advanced analytics view is helpful to you. Please leave comments if uh, you want something new or have feedback for us. Thank you.